Hi and welcome to the RCN Rocket Chief. Today we'll be discussing Taz, which uh, is an Estes rocket kit. It was a lot of fun to build, a lot of fun to fly, because of its unique recovery uh, method. Um, with that, the engine is ejected out the rear uh, when the ejection charge fires at uh, the top of the uh, model rocket's flight. And then when the engine is ejected, it allows two ailerons to uh, kick into place at the tailing edge of the fins and the rocket basically becomes a lawn dart and spins on its way down. So I've had uh, some really good flights with it. There's a reason that I don't have it here with me. Um, so watch the video. Now then please like and subscribe. Maybe eventually I can get some ad revenue out of YouTube and I can afford to get a haircut. Thanks a lot. A beautiful fall day to be launching Taz. It's uh, about seven degrees. Uh, maximum about 10 kilometer an hour breeze and not a cloud in the sky. So stand by for hopefully pretty crazy recovery in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Spins on the way up. There goes that apology. I got a nice long delay on it, about a C65. There it is there. We can see the engine coming down here. No, that's the rockets coming down there. Very close by, and there comes the engine. Great flight. This is Taz on a C65 in five, four, three, two, one, launch. And a nice straight flight. Wow, did it ever go? It's turned over at Apogee. It's coming down fairly long. Oh, there goes the engine to our right and the rocket to our left. Neither one of which look like they're gonna make it into the confines of the field. Oh, here comes the engine fairly close by. Oh no, that's the rocket. Right down in the stream, the engine going that way. And it's coming down and it's gonna be just in the edge of our field as well. They made it. They so my granddaughter and I couldn't find Taz in the high grass. So I went back, stood from where we launched it, watched the video you've just seen, lined up on that shed, drew a search line and we walked it and we just managed to capture Taz in the high grass. So recovery successful. This time looking for the cool spinning launch uh, on a C67 just because it's a little breezy. Breeze is gusting to 20 kilometers an hour with a steady wind of about 13 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch. And it Kato'd. Wow, what a day. So this is Taz after its catastrophic or Cato flight. Um, not sure what happened. The engine has completely disappeared from the engine mount. I'll uh, take a trip back to the park, see if I can find it. No doubt it's roughly where the rest of the debris was. But uh, everything has been more or less recovered. It's obvious that this is where the blowout was in the body tube, um, caused of course by the engine. But everything else is here, so I think if I get another body tube, I can uh, probably repair Taz, put it back into action. So uh, please subscribe so you'll get an alert when we try uh, with the, uh, the Taz clone, which will really just be a new body tube. Thanks for watching.